we have checked in to our hotel at the beautiful Cabana Bay. Very serene right now. So pretty, I love this hotel. It's so peaceful and beautiful. I feel like we're back in the 50s. So retro. So we've checked into the room at Cabana Bay and as you can see, for such a great price, this is considered one of the budget hotels. It really is a greatly priced hotel. But look how great this is. It's a suite, essentially. And you have all this space. Everything, yes. A little closet in here. And then you can come over here and our view. Lots of colors. Cool. Volcano Bay is over there. Let's see if we can get a little bit of that action in there. Oh yeah, there it is. Orlando either are off in the background. So yeah, very excited for this weekend. Halloween Horror Nights 28th, about to start. So we are here. The day has finally come. Very, as I always say, excited. And this is just going to be a little pre-video going in a few hours before the event just to see the scare zone stuff during the, during the day with all the actors and everything in it. Just because I haven't seen any of the sets since I don't live in Orlando. But I've seen lots of updates so I'm so excited to see everything. Maybe we'll check out the specialty donut over at Voodoo. Check out the store that's inside. We'll just see all we can find before these few hours before car nights officially start. First things first. The big thing that people have been talking about is the Hello Kitty area, which is going to be a holding area for those that are already in the park that are doing Stay and Scream. So in case you're wondering where you need to be at Hello Kitty to get into uh, the houses if you're doing Stay and Scream, that's right here. As you can see, Hello Kitty everywhere to be seen. And this is right when you walk into the park, so you're going to see it exactly on the right hand side. So as we can see, this is going to be one of the scare zones that's going to have a bunch of the different mazes. And so this is Stranger Things, obviously. Poltergeist. And look at that clown. Wow. Burger treat. House, which if you've seen the first purge, you know all about those teddy bears. And if you've seen Happy Death Day, then you definitely know about that mask. And yes. Of course, Halloween had and built. This is going to be an area, obviously, where they're going to be selling drinks. We can get a little peek at what the drinks are going to be. This queue line is going to be what houses where Stranger Things is going to be, which I will guarantee will be a very long wait. But right now, it's empty. Just people on a roller coaster. As we can see over here by Transformers Ride, this appears where they're going to be having the food. So several food options, drink options. And they are getting all ready because the event starts in about two hours. Look at all the pumpkins. I'm guessing will be a really big wall to get your picture taken in front of. So another wall of Universal. <laughs> and this is going to be the zone for FAMP 1985 to be New Year's Eve every night of Halloween Horror Nights. So, so glamorous. Some more for Vamp 1985. And also, I was talking about earlier, it's a 10 minute wait for Revenge of the Mummy. 10 minutes. So, an even more reason to get here early. And of course, the Killer Clown Scare Zone, which y'all know I'm excited about it. Can't wait. Seeing so many things that I remember from this movie. 
and I'll be very interested to see how they play out as a scare zone. Might be kind of intense. Another drink line, our section. If you're into that, that's gonna be right across the way from Statue, Games and Amusement, Specialty Drink. A little detour into Harry Potter Land, AKA Diagon Alley, because it's very hot out here. So we're gonna get a little snack of some butter beer. Because it is, might be fall, and close to Halloween, but it is very, very hot. Of course, it's where it used to be for Bill and Ted for every year. But this year, it's what houses Academy of Villains, Cyberpunk, Dance Troupe Show, which I'm very excited about. Also in the Fear Factor stage. So if you know where Fear Factor is, then you are going to know where Academy of Villains is. And show times are not listed. But I'm sure they will be in like two hours. So, Cyberpunk on. Okay, so this is the Men in Black area. And it houses, you can barely see it, except in the very back back here. I'm gonna zoom in if I can. If y'all can see, it's Babyface Killer from Happy Death Day. So, this is gonna be the facade in the entrance for Horrors of Blumhouse Chapter 2. Let's see if we can get a little bit better angle of it. Grass is pretty high though, but you get the idea. So you're able to see it through there. And I'm actually really looking forward to this house. I know a lot of people aren't, but I love the Purge series and I also loved Happy Death Day. So this one's high on my list. Soon, very soon right now. But I believe this is gonna be dead exposure. And then across the way over here, I believe it's gonna be the slaughter, some of the slaughter. Both say zero wait times. But that's just because the event hasn't started. I feel like these are going to be too popular Something ones. else that we can see that's interesting that's happened is they're starting to block off Springfield for annual pass holders. So if you're one of the ones that signed up to enter the park early and enter the holding area so you can experience three of the houses earlier, then this is the crowd area you'll be in, which is in Springfield. So you can enjoy a snack and get you a beer or something and just wait it out here. And as I'm saying, they're already starting to barricade this area off. So that means it'll be starting very soon. Over here next to the SpongeBob, where you can meet him and shop for SpongeBob apparel, is also gonna house the cheesesteak and pizza fries. So, SpongeBob and pizza fries. Good combination. And right here across from Fievel's Playland is, I believe, going to be Seeds of Extinction. So, right here by the Animal Planet show, Seeds of Extinction. Right here by the ET exit, and that queue line is going to be, as I can see his little head poking out, Sam, Trick or Treat, which might be my most eagerly anticipated house this year. So, this is where it'll be, right by ET. You can find Sam and Trick or Treat always signifies that Halloween is close. Look at all the pumpkins. So happy to see them back. Such a happy sign. I know the sun's a little bit glaring in the way, but they're up there. Pumpkins everywhere. And of course we know that Cary, Ohio is where a lot of the stories and houses take place. So that's kind of fun to see it play homage here. From the twisted traditions maze or excuse me scare zone and wow oh wow this looks so intricate Mark Simpson over there taking pictures signing autographs but what I'm looking at over here is good guys which this is gonna be the Chucky scare zone so I don't know if we're gonna see Chucky we might see Tiffany Lots of possibilities. I just hope that Chucky isn't on stilts. I thought that could be kind of odd. But I guess we'll see. And here's a stage, which if I were gonna bet, and from what videos I've seen from the employee preview, I think that Chucky's gonna be on a stage here. So maybe he'll be talking to guests, throwing out some insults, kind of similar to what they did in Hollywood a few years ago. So I guess we'll find out what Chucky's gonna be up to later tonight. So out of the park, get ready to go change. And but first, we're gonna go check out to see the Horror Nights Donut to see what that's all about. The 
tomorrow night's donut looks like. Pretty cute. We have us a little post horror night snack. Get ready to take these back to the room, then we're gonna change, and then we're coming back out. I hope you guys enjoyed that little walkthrough in the in the light so we could see what's in the scare zones the set looks like. I don't live in Orlando, so I haven't gotten to see all the updates like a lot of other vloggers have. So I hope that you enjoyed that, even though it's a little bit late. We got to go inside the store, check out the donut, and now I'm getting ready to go get dressed, get a little unsweatified go back out and get sweaty because it's very, very hot outside. That's my biggest takeaway from today. It is burning up outside. So it's very hot, but it looks like the event's gonna be so much fun. Everything looks amazing. I cannot wait to see all the houses. There's so many that I'm so pumped up about. Remember, always check your candy and get ready because I'm gonna have a whole recap of the weekend. Hopefully I'll have some videos from tonight as well as tomorrow night and I can't wait to post those and show you guys everything that's been happening at Horror Nights. But thank you guys for coming along with me on this and I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm enjoying my little swivel chair here. But uh, keep updated for more. Just click back here and thank you so much for watching. Happy Horror Nights weekend.